therefore, yeah. there is an indication that there is more smuggling of a particular item, in this case gold. There is also uske aage piche, meaning either before it or after it, there seems to be a very high import of gold. I do not know if there is a tendency or a cyclical impact of high import at some point in time in the year. The, the bar chart, if I can remember correct, showed that in July 21 and also March 21, I think, had very high imports of gold. And nearer, just before and after, there seems to also be a higher detection of smuggling because the bar chart is obviously showing detection of the smuggling in gold. I do not know if there's a causal relationship, but I also think it gives me a thought to say if there is a pattern that you can learn from, if you may want to go back to several years of looking at high import months, months with high import, and uh, before and after that, if there is a correlation for detection. Does the officer, the DRA officers, see that there's more imports happening and gets more cautious? Or is it that naturally you are able to get, um, what do you call, uh, actionable intelligence, and therefore you're able to detect more of the uh, smuggling? I do not know what works which way, but it raised an inter interesting question in my mind, and I thought I should put it before you. If such, I've just done it off the cuff. I am sure if you do it in a systematic manner in which, which is what you normally do, but if there is a way in which you're able to see a pattern emerging, and I'm going to be a bit mischievous in saying something, if there's a pattern emerging even in the detection of smuggling, it's convenient for me to notice that last month there's been lots of imports and therefore this month I'm highly alert and I'm able to detect more. Or I'm anticipating that because Akshay Tritiya is coming, people will consume more gold, more imports are happening, I should be able. I don't know what works. But if in our country, 800 kgs are being detected on an average per year, I'm sure this is an elephant in the room. Can we do a lot more data-based, artificial intelligence-based, better mapping of what works to bring in the cycle of gold smuggling into India? I've been arguing some time with the media that it is not the customs duty on gold which determines the extent of smuggling. Higher the duty, people feel, oh, there's greater leverage to be handled, and therefore there's more smuggling. And lower the counter-argument to it, lower the duty, less smuggling. No, smuggling seems to have its own cycle. Smuggling seems to have its own pattern. Not only in gold, but also I find drugs, particularly Vivek Johri was telling me just now, the chairman CBIC was telling me just now that cocaine has also started coming in a big way in this country. And again, here I want to ask a question. Is it because India is no longer just a transit country for smugglers? And is it because India is now becoming a consuming country? That you have uh, paths for such things to come into the country which have not had a recorded 